Hello everybody, my name is Piglet and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> so, uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to install custom NPC textures like we do in Zoocraft thing because I myself as well as Alex have released textures that we have made. I have made around uh, like 10 textures well, Alex has made over 60, so I do encourage you to check those out down in the description below. Alex's textures are truly amazing. Okay, so I'm guessing that you have already installed the custom NPCs mod, uh, and if you have done so, you know how to access this folder, .minecraft folder, so I'm not going to explain that in this video. However, uh, what I do want you to do is launch Minecraft, let everything settle in, you know, let everything just run smoothly, see if everything is um, working okay, if the mod has properly installed. If so, close it up, open up .minecraft folder again, and you should be having uh, this custom NPCs uh, folder. Okay, so, uh, of course, you probably won't have all of these, these are just <laughs> random folders from a lot of different mods that have accumulated over time so yeah you won't be having those this one is important you should have this one so you want to open that one and you should have something like this in it you might not have all again all of these folders but um, what's important is if you do have the assets folder which should have again just appear once you actually launch minecraft with customs npcs mod installed in it you want to open it up uh, and again, you probably won't have this one. You might only just have the customs NPCs folder. You want to open that up again. Uh, and if you don't have anything, you can just create a customs NPCs folder. Open it up. You should actually have it already created with the sounds and the textures folder. You want to open up the textures folder and just place the custom textures that you have downloaded in here. You can place it in folders as seen here, or you can actually just uh, place it as files. It doesn't really matter. I just place it as folders. So here are the textures I have created, and they, you can find in the Google Drive that I will provide down in the description below. Um, I believe I have actually skipped one texture, but doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anyways, those are most of the textures. Okay, so that's how you put the textures into the files. Now let's get into the game, and I will show you how to actually spawn an NPC and put on the custom texture. Okay, so once you get into the game, I'm I here I'm on the zoo crafting server. You can of course be on your single player game. And I'm in my Christmas skin if you might notice. You can be in whatever skin you want to be in. You want to find an NPC wand. What this do is it well spawns an NPC. It's an NPC wand. I have cleaned up a little area over here. We will just spawn an NPC. Uh, it automatically spawns a Steve NPC with a random name. I will now show you how to actually change it. Name you can change up here to anything you want. Let's just change it to, I don't know, um, James. Because why not? I'll just change it to James right now. Uh, and what you actually can do is just like make it disappear. If you click on uh, show, uh, it will, you can change it to hide or show on, there, on tacking. You can also add the title, James the Savior, let's say, I don't know, the the shopkeeper, for example, the title will appeal, appear, sorry, <laughs> underneath the name, I'm a bit tired if you might notice, um, here you can just, you can just play with all of these options if you want, um, you can add a tr transportation system, you can change uh, the role to transporter, you can add different lines, uh, you can add it to be trader, you can add, you can make it like drop items here as well, you can change the AI, uh, AI to whatever you want, you can make it swim, you can make it move, you can change its stats to whatever you want, you can just play a lot. I just want to show you how to change the textures right now, I'm pretty sure there must be some other tutorials that show, show you how to play with all of these other things. If you want, I can also make more tutorials. I'm sorry, my English is just broken today. Yeah, I, I'm just quite tired, it's the 1st of January. Happy New Year's, guys, you know. Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas. Uh, but yeah, you can even change a bunch of things I can again make another tutorial if you would like for some custom things just let me know uh, let's just focus on this right now again you can change like size or whatever change the animations whatever you want to do so I'm going to take um, let's take for example so yeah what you want to do is firstly go into the model and click on the edit button next to the model 
Uh, here you can see a bunch of different things. You, uh, what we want to do actually click, uh, is we want to click up here. Uh, let me just rotate, rotate, please. Okay, there we go. You want to click on the custom NPCs, uh, uh, and then you can actually see a bunch of different mobs available for uh, for you to pick from. Again, you probably won't have all of this. These are, are a bunch of different mobs from a bunch of different mods we have on the server. Uh, so yeah, mostly they have like a uh, name of the mod before the name of the mob, but some of them don't. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of the do here, exotic birds, fossils. Sorry about that, guys. My recording software has some problem with the actual like list inside of the uh, mod inside of the uh, model selection. So yeah, I have actually picked the exotic birds magpie model. Um, so again, uh, you have um, you may not have as many models as we have on the server. You can download any mod mod you want the model from, um, and you will should be able to have the model. However, some models do not actually work. With custom NPCs mod, uh, some Mo creatures models don't work. Some um, other mobs don't, might not work from some other mods. Um, there is not really a way to fix this. However, you can uh, change the texture of those uh, mobs inside of the game files themselves, inside of the mod files of those mods, or you can just get a custom uh, texture pack and change it uh, into and uh, change. Yeah, change them like that with a custom resource pack. Anyways, uh, some models might not appear at first, they might be invisible. However, if you play with these buttons on the side, they might appear. Again, I believe I had that problem with some Mo Creatures mods as well as, I believe it's Oceancraft. Um, and they just started working after I played with them for a bit on with those buttons on the side. Just experiment and, you, and they might start working, you never know. Okay, now the textures themselves. So... What you want to do is go down here to the textures and you actually want to click the select button. Now the select button <laughs> will, for me, probably open the um, will open the selection panel which is again a list, uh, so I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, if you click it and if you have again a um, uh, mob from some different mod that is not custom NPCs, uh, it will probably open the textures from that mod. Uh, you don't want that, you want our custom textures. So what you want to do is delete this. Sorry, leave the dash because it's easier with the dash. Uh, and you want to change the name of the mod, so any mod, to custom NPCs. Now what this do is it changes the path of um, the textures uh, it is searching for to the, actually the custom NPCs folder that we have previously set up. Now I want to click select um, custom textures that we have installed or whatever you have named your file and you want to click on the name of your uh, texture as you can see over here in the corner it has changed our texture right now um, I for my textures have put the name of the model you need to use or like at least the reference to the model you need to use after the name of the what the creature is supposed to represent Alex has made this amazing list uh, because he is pretty amazing uh, himself uh, and you can actually uh, he has like a bunch of different uh, models and textures and a lot of stuff that you can look up on that list but yeah that is basically what you need to do and you actually got yourself a custom texture and uh, this way you can add uh, change not add any uh, texture you want to any uh, custom NPC uh, and uh, yeah that is basically how we do it here in Zoo Crafting how we change the textures of our uh, custom NPC uh, models so uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you actually want to hang out with us, the crafters, uh, there is a um, Discord server that we have created. Uh, I'll leave a link to that down below. You can come and hang out with us, share your ideas, share your possibly pictures of your zoos if you want to. If you're going to build zoos with these textures, which are, are also included down in the uh, description below, you can see find the links to them uh, over there. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can come talk with us, share your ideas, share your pictures. Uh, I hope you're having a good year, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, don't forget to always have fun, uh, and goodbye!